Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I will show you how to model and size a control valve using Aspenisys. So first off, for this tutorial, we'll add our components. So that we can get into the simulation environment so this is still a continuation of our simulation series for this tutorial we are making use of Ben Robinson and we are in the simulation environment now in the model palette that is on the screen we have two valves two major valves here we have the relief valve and then the control valve if you can see my cursor now in this tutorial we will be treating the control valve itself how to model and size it so for example we can get out a controller a control valve now for this control valve we have steps that are required for modeling and then sizing now for modeling which is the simulation of the valve you have three simple steps you have the um, attach inlet and outlet streams to the valve then you have fully specified the inlet of the valve then specify either the valve pressure drop or the outlet stream pressure now that is the first illustration in this particular tutorial so we are going to attach material streams to this valve which is the first procedure then we will specify the inlet so we have done that so the next thing is to specify the inlet so for the inlet we have composition I would make use of a gas phase so I want methane to be one then pressure is atmospheric room atmospheric pressure room temperature then let me see yes then we have our molar flow rate yes so we have fully specified the inlet stream which was part of the steps we had then after that the next thing is to specify either valve pressure or outlet stream pressure so for example you can decide to specify the valve pressure the outlet pressure actually if you specify the outlet pressure you will see that the whole model will solve the valve will solve entirely if you specify outlet pressure also you can choose to specify your um your valve pressure drop right your valve pressure drop you can find that in the parameters tab under design you can specify your pressure drop and also the valve will solve entirely the valve will solve as well as the outlet stream so these are the ways to actually simulate a valve in aspen isis now if you want to change the valve icon you can do that by left clicking on the valve and then right clicking then scrolling down to change icon right so once you click on change icon you would see the different icons you can change your valve to depending on the type of valve you are making use of for example this this first one is a gate valve then you have the manual gate valve you still have other valves here so depending on which you want to depict in your model you can choose that particular one and then click on ok and then the symbol is represented on your flow sheet right so that's how that works so this is for the simulation of a valve now we can go over to the sizing of a valve a control valve now we also have steps for sizing 
there are steps for sizing as well right so these are the control valve sizing procedure right here so the first is that the valve pressure drop should be specified instead of outlet pressure so for example we have to make an adjustment to this that is if we have outlet pressure specified okay so already the um the pressure drop is specified right so that is the first step so you must specify pressure drop of your valve if you want to size the valve right the sizing of the valve comes after you have already modeled the valve and the valve are solved right so before you start sizing you must ensure that your valve and the streams attached to it have solved right so the next thing is to now follow these steps that are listed on the screen so first we are specifying valve pressure drop in the case in our case scenario the valve pressure drop is already specified so we go to the next step the next step says in the rating tab a sizing method should be selected as well as a valve operating characteristic so if you go to rating tab you would see your you would see your valve operating characteristics then you have your um, let me see you have your sizing methods as well so you can choose from the ranges of options that you have here for both sizing methods and valve operating characteristics so that is the next step so you have to select from them then uh, preferred sizing conditions can be specified using the user input option so going back to that rating tab you have your sizing conditions here right so if you want to manipulate this section you can click on user input right user input gives you the opportunity to let me see yes it gives you the opportunity to be able to um, specify more of the sizing conditions as opposed to the current right so the user input gives you more options in terms of uh, manipulating the sizing conditions so in the sizing condition section you have inlet pressure inlet pressure you have molecular weight sizing valve opening percentage sizing change sizing pressure drop then sizing flow rate so the uh, inlet pressure is the pressure of the inlet stream then you have the molecular weight then you have the valve opening percentage then the pressure drop that is the pressure drop of the valve as you know we specified 10 kilopascal so it's the same thing you have here so if you change it here it's going to affect a change in the design as well right so that's what you have for sizing conditions and you can use your user input to be able to manipulate more of them then the next step you have after all the adjustments in the rating tab has been made you click on size valve right so in that rating tab you have a section you have it called size valve so when you are done making your adjustments to all the sections you are supposed to click on size valve that is the next step then after that after you have sized the valve by clicking on size valve you are supposed to go back to the design tab right and in the design tab you are expected to uh delete the pressure drop you specified right delete it and click on use sizing methods to calculate pressure drop right use sizing methods to calculate pressure drop now what this does is after you have sized your valve hysis will then be able to use the sizing values that were determined to calculate the actual pressure drop that is required by that particular valve right so you may not be able to specify the accurate pressure drop for that particular valve so it is better hysis calculates it itself and that is how you do it this is how you do it by clicking on 
use sizing methods to calculate pressure drop so after you have um let me see okay after you have clicked on size valve you leave this environment and you go back to your design and on that design the parameters tab you delete the value you specified right you, you delete it and then you click on size valve right you click on size valve so let's take let's do something like that with this particular example so um this guy is 10 kpa we go back to the rating tab now let's assume we are okay with all the specifications that are already on the screen for the rating section so what you do is you click on size valve right once you click on it you then leave this design environment you leave the rating environment and you go to the design environment then you now delete this specified pressure drop you delete it and then you click on this use sizing methods to calculate pressure drop right so once you click on it isis now calculates the required pressure drop for that particular valve now at times the required pressure drop may be equal to the pressure drop you actually specified initially right so but it does not happen like that for all kinds of valves and all kinds of streams right so there are times when it will be the same and there are times when it will be different right so depending on the calculations that ISIS will make right so sometimes you may specify it and then the calculated one will be the same as the specified one and other times the specified pressure drop will be different from the calculated pressure drop but it is always um advisable to actually use this method to size and then determine the pressure drop required for that particular control valve right so this is how to size a control valve right in aspen isis now from this let's move down a little so you have uh you have your valve operating characteristics so we are going back to the ratings tab so that i can explain some of the things that are there so now in your ratings tab you have your valve operating characteristics so it determines the um you choose the particular characteristic that that valve is operating with right in this particular section right so you have the different um, types you have linear you have quick opening you have equal percentage and user table right so we go back here so for linear um for linear uh operating valves right fluid flow coefficient is proportional to percentage opening of that valve right for linear then for quick opening you have at the initial uh, percentage opening you have a higher fluid flow right at a low and initial percent opening you have a higher fluid flow for quick opening then for equal percentage you have low fluid flow at low percent opening and then high fluid flow at higher percent opening right so you get a higher fluid flow from equal percentage towards the uh, point where the valve attains full opening right so that's for equal percentage then for user table in the user table option the the user is expected to um specify both the valve opening percentages as well as their corresponding fluid flows right so you are supposed to create a table for the valve uh, percentage opening and then the corresponding fluid flow so depending on which you want to use you would have to specify it there by clicking on the radio button right by clicking on the radio button so in this case you have linear as the uh, opening characteristics of this particular valve we have sized then going down we have the um, the sizing parameters we have the sizing parameters sizing parameters you have fi which represents um liquid pressure recovery factor then you have cv and cg then you have fp and xt fp is 
piping geometry factor then xt is terminal pressure drop now among these sizing parameters the most important are the cv and the cg the cv is the fluid flow coefficient while the cg is the gas sizing coefficient and then the cv um it goes with liquid flow right liquid phase and liquid components while cg goes with gaseous components and gaseous phases right so now let's go back to the um rating tab so in the rating tab for example for this first sizing method the ANSI isa method you have those uh parameters those sizing parameters that were highlighted previously so now in this particular case in this particular valve our um flow for this valve is in gaseous phase if you check the worksheet you have your vapor fraction to be one for both inlet and outlet stream so in this model we are dealing with a gaseous phase right a gaseous phase now if you go back to the rating you would see that the cg radio button is automatically active right it is automatically active that signifies that the fluid flowing through this particular valve this particular control valve is in gaseous form right that is why the cg radio button is active right for the cv it will only be active when the component flowing through the valve is in liquid form right so if you model a liquid phase component then cv will automatically be active right automatically you will not have to choose right so you notice that i did not click on this it was already active even before we came here right so that's how these two guys work so now for the sizing methods you have the uh ansi isa method which is the most popular and common method for control valve sizing right based on it is it is so based on the accuracy of that particular method right now you also have the manufacturer specific methods which consist of different manufacturer methods that you can choose from now all these methods uh they have their specific equations right they are equation based methods that would help determine the um sizing parameters of a particular valve right so depending on which one you want you can just specify them or in case you want the simple resistance equation you can also choose that as well right so you have these three main sizing methods for the sizing of valves so we can adjust this and we are back to where we were before so now um for example let me illustrate what i was saying about cv and cg so what i will do is now initially the composition of our inlet stream is one for methane which means this stream is a gaseous stream now i can change it and i want um h2o i want h2o to be the component inside this stream so i change it and h2o is now the component in this stream no longer methane now if you go back to the conditions you will see that the vapor fraction is now zero what it means is that this particular stream is purely liquid is in liquid phase or aqueous phase now if you now click on this valve and you go to rating if you go to rating you will now see that the cv has been automatically made active right so you see the cv is active because now the uh, component passing through the valve is in liquid phase right is in liquid phase and that is why the cv is active and cg is no longer active right so if you are okay with these specifications you can click on size valve right click on size valve now you notice that it calculated the cv value right the cv value is highlighted then you can now go back to your parameters then remove this guy 
remove the specified uh, pressure drop and then click on your um, use sizing methods to calculate delta p now you can see that this delta p is not equal to the initially specified delta p right the pressure drop that was initially specified was 10 kilopascal now i removed it and then i clicked on use sizing methods and isis has calculated the exact required pressure drop for the valve right based on the sizing calculations that were done in the rating tab right so you see now that this value is different from the value i specified initially you see so it's better when the software calculates the pressure drop because it calculates the actual pressure drop that is required for that particular valve right based on your initial specifications right so you see that the required pressure drop is 12.61 kilopascal right for this valve right so you see you see what i was talking about earlier so that's it for the sizing of valves control valves specifically control valves so for this um, tutorial you have a very simple um, problem to solve right just for practice so for practice um, I want you to uh, attach a valve to the initial stream that was created in the previous lecture in the previous lecture i asked you to create a stream a material stream so to that material stream attach a valve to that material stream and then attach an outlet stream to that valve right so you attach the valve to the stream you created from the last tutorials assignment then you attach an outlet stream to that valve and then let the pressure drop of that valve be 70 kilopascal so you are specifying the pressure drop of the valve right so when you when you are done attaching the previous material stream and then creating a new stream for outlets specify your pressure drop as 70 kilopascal right so with this we have come to the end of this tutorial this particular tutorial which is the simulation and sizing of control valves using aspen isis if you have questions or observations kindly let me know via the comment section like this video and then subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet so that you can get notifications on subsequent videos for process simulation thank you for joining me do have a good day